Hey everyone, welcome back to Digging Deeper. This week, uh, we're talking about beets, beautiful beets, how to grow them. And I'll be sharing you my best tricks about how to grow beets that are really rocking at farmer's market. Beets in the market garden is one of these crops that can really make a killing. If you, if you grow nice bunches of beets that have beautiful leaves, you can really attract a lot of people at farmer's market and that's one of our signature crop here at the farm. And there's a few tricks that we have to grow really great beets and to make sure that we don't have leafy spots. And the first trick is that we transplant our beets. So it's more work to put into the ground, but transplanting the beet gives us three big advantage. The first one is that we'll have perfect density on the bed. So there's not going to be any holes and the spacing is going to be just ideal so that the beets grow faster and they'll have uniformity between each of them, which in the end makes a difference to make really good bunches. But it also plays with the fact that we have just enough ventilation for good airflow which really helps with the leafy spot problems. This cercosporose that we say in French, uh, which otherwise can be really, really problematic. And when I visit farms, definitely their beets are often really plagued by that disease. Uh, there's gonna be a crop note on the spacing that we use here on the farm and the cultivars that we use to uh, counter cercosporose uh, leafy spots. So you can check that out. You can download it on the link. So the second trick is really getting the right spacing. The spacing that we have for the beets on the farm is really designed for two things. First of all, we want to have better density so that we're optimizing space in the market garden, but we're also considering uh, proper airflow. So the spacing on the row needs to be, uh, leaves, needs to leave enough space. And cultivating is also important because that's how we make sure that, you know, there's really good airflow between the beds. And so it's one crop that we want to make sure that we're keeping really clean and cultivating once or twice, depending on the time of the, the timing, really does the job. And I will say that lastly, one trick that we have in our toolbox and that we use is to systematically spray boron on the beets. And that also will help not only have fewer problems with leafy spots, but just to make sure that we have really, really nice beets. And timing is really critical. You need to apply that boron at the right timing. And after that, you're on your way to really beautiful harvest of these amazing beets. And again, you'll have to take it from me. If you're pulling off growing really nice beets with their, with their tops on, you can get top dollar at farmer's market. You'll attract a lot of clients. And take it from me, it's definitely one of these crops that you want to learn how to really be successful at. So that's it for beets. I've shared some tips. And don't forget, there's a crop note that you can download. All the information is on the link below. Uh, I'd like to hear if you have problems with uh, Sarkosparos and how you've dealt with it in the past. You know, sharing uh, in this forum here is a great way to learn and to read what others and people are thinking. So make sure that you share, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Again, it gives me the signal that you guys are into this and you'd like for me to keep on posting. That's really important. It's my motivation. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope things are growing on the farm. I hope uh, making sales and just plain happy. So I'm I'm good, and I'm, I'll see you next week. Jay, I'm out.